Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for so continuing watching my videos and supporting to my channel. And please click the notification bell so that you will be alerted when I post a new video. Today, I would like to inform you of a problem that very few vloggers mention on their channels. It's normally all about the good life here in the Philippines. However, like any country, the Philippines has its shares of sexual abuse problems. You might meet or date a sexually abused Filipina and never aware of her past. That's because Filipina are resilient and normally recover their posture and sanity and withhold inside the trauma and depression. This does not happen in all cases. And you might encounter an intimacy abuse Filipina, and she has many mood swings. Before we continue, my disclaimer is I am not a spokesperson for Filipinas or the Philippines nation. I am only giving my perspective from my knowledge and statistical data available through research. 95% of Filipina victims reported having experience physical violence by an intimate partner. 56% of Filipina victims reported having experienced sexual violence by an intimate partner. And 68% of Filipina victims have experienced stalking by an intimate partner. According to the Philippines Commission on Women, the PCW, it is one of the most privacy problems in the Philippines. One in every 20 girls and women at 15 to 49 years old have experienced sexual violence in their lifetime. This includes rape, domestic violence, and incest. You might meet the most beautiful, caring, faithful, and sincere Filipina as your future companion and have no knowledge or awareness of what she has endured and harbor in her mind and heart. That is why I advise my subscribers and viewers not to get so wrapped up initially in a Filipina. Take your time to get to know her. It's not an overnight thing. Don't rush into relationship. There always a special someone available to and get you. If you encounter an intimacy and physically abused Filipina and want to make a difference or want to make a difference in her life, I recommend making her feel secure, safe, comfortable, and trusting before seeking physical intimacy. That way, you don't bring out the emotional horror that she has suppressed within. Trust me. You don't want to deal with an emotionally damaged Filipina. You will have to implement your exit plan earlier than expected. Be aware of the intimacy and physically abuse Filipina and always look before you leap. All my videos are free and for your entertainment. If you like my content and want to donate to my channel, it's greatly appreciated. All your donation will be used for my mother's fulvis operation, which is pending until we gather the funding. And she is 72 years old. Thank you and God bless.